Welcome back, friends, fellows, fantastic members of the MetaFam and Random Passers by to Argos Anonymous. I am Argos. I have been collecting a sort of a, an increasingly large pile of MetaZoo Tops Chrome serial cards to send off to PSA and just to build into my own personal collection. I'm really enjoying MetaZoo Tops Chrome. The cards are really, really fun. It's like the card stock is good, the hollows are good, the art is good, everything's good good with chrome everyone loves chrome and i am no exception to that so what an opportunity for a video so I'm, we're going to talk about what i've learned about the products the drop rates what you can find where how it's all going so far um i did some science as well so we'll talk about can you weigh the boxes of chrome for hits can you do it and um all of that should be fun let's just dive into it so first of all let's talk about weighing the boxes um so people have talked about can you weigh sealed boxes of metazoo chrome for hits i'm going to tell you the answer is definitively absolutely not people who say that you can are wrong now we're not talking about loose packs loose packs you should always be suspicious or you know you should take caution right you should have some caution when you approach loose packs of all kinds from anywhere and not just because people might be doing like weighing shenanigans is because people can reseal packs like there's shady people out there for all games and all brands trying to mess with loose packs and everybody knows it that said loose packs still sell like if you have a loose pack of of Pokemon Chrome from 2000 it'll still sell for 500 bucks even though it can be resealed and resealed and messed with stuff like that so but the sealed tops boxes cannot be weighed and this is why a serial card in Chrome is a little bit heavier than a non-serial card in Chrome. This is a serial green card. It weighs about 0.4 grams more than a normal card. And the reason you can't weigh sealed boxes of Topps Chrome MetaZoo consistently is because the variable weight of cards in the box and the packaging contents is significantly greater than the extra weight of a serial card. So for example, a Topps, a Topps Blaster Pack, right? You have um, an almost a four gram variable weight of Topps Blaster Packs, and the additional weight from a single serial card is only 0.4 grams. So some of my lightest boxes that were Blaster Packs had serial cards, and some of my heaviest boxes do not. And that is what you will find, and that is what the market will find. So over time, what people will come to realize is that the the few random people that are going out there saying in, in YouTube comments like, you can weigh the, they're wrong. You can't weigh the steel boxes and the market will come to understand this. And that is going to be really good for the Topps Metazoo Chrome sealed market over the long term. Now that out of the way, let's enjoy some cards. So what I'm doing is I'm opening all these, these packs, I'm opening products and I've come up with a pretty reasonable stack of Metazoo serial cards. And this is how I know about things like Product integrity. I know about pull rates because, because I've been pull. I've been busy. Okay, guys, I've been busy with MetaZoo Chrome. So, when it comes to Chrome, one of the things you'll notice is like, um, as you go through these cards, with they're beautiful, beautiful cards. But just like all cards, you're gonna want to look at the centering of the card if you're trying to figure out whether or not you should grade something. Something is that's off center is going to get a lower grade. With Topps Chrome, you also want to pay particular attention to the surface, right? So in addition to like edges and corners and centering, you really have to look at the surface because Topps Chrome is this highly reflective chrome surface, this hollow surface, this parallel surface, they call it, right? And it's, it's beautiful, but some cards will come right out of the factory and they'll have like fingerprints on the card. Most of them don't, okay? But some of these cards, and I don't know that I still have an example because I've been cleaning most of my cards. But some of these cards from Chrome will come with a beautiful, beautiful orange serialized cactus cat. Will come right out of the factory and you'll look at that card and like right on the top there'll be like junk and a fingerprint and debris and dirt or whatever. Like you're going to have to clean the surface of your Topps Chrome card. And if you Google how to clean the surface of a Topps Chrome card, there's people who have made YouTube videos about it. Some people use microfiber cloth. Some people use paper towel, right? There's different methods. Um, you should research it before you just go cleaning cards because you don't want to cause more damage than there already is. But I just want to let people know, to keep in mind, if you're going to be sending in cards for grading, you need to clean, you need to clean your chrome before you send it in because it might already have like fingerprints on it from the factory. So I've been, I've been cleaning these cards and I'm prepping a PSA submission. And this is what I'm sending in. So I got, this is from a variety of, of uh, hobby boxes and blaster boxes. I have pulled three overall black. These are the serialized blacker factors. They're serialized 
out of five, so they're very, very rare. Both of these are number one of five. And of the three black refractors that I pulled, two of them were from hobby boxes and one of them was from a blaster box, okay? So they're like, they're spread around, you know? Um, in my experience, the overall pull rate of zero cards seems to be almost twice as high on a per pack basis from blaster boxes. Those are the 1999 retail boxes you can get at Target, right? So if you look at like the, the just the per pack odds, now this isn't the stated odds on the packs. I'm just saying in my experience, and I've opened about 70 blaster boxes and I've opened about 10 cases of hobby boxes. So the sample size is quite large. And I'm talking about twice, about twice the pull rate. Here's the problem though. Most, the, the significant majority of the blaster box pulls um, are gonna be green serialized cards and gold serialized cards, which are beautiful, but the greens are out of 99 and the golds are out of 50. Whereas when you're pulling from hobby boxes, you're gonna be picking up a lot of orange cards and those orange cards are out of 25 and they're going to hold. It doesn't matter what you like, I'm telling you right now. If you like the gold better than the orange, good for you. The orange are going to hold higher value because they are out of 25 instead of out of 50. And so I think what you're gonna see long term is for different reasons, the blaster are gonna do really, really well, I think, because you can't weigh them for hits, so the product integrity is good, and the pull rate overall of serial cards is about twice as high as the hobby boxes on a per pack basis, which is crazy, crazy good, right? right. And that includes the one of ones and the one of five pull rates, right? So it's really, really good pull rates. But, but the hobby boxes, I think, are gonna do really well over time because you're still hitting the big hits, but it's these orange, these orange serialized cards that are out of only 25. The presence of those in the hobby boxes and the fact that on secondary markets, they are likely to continue to be expensive cards is going to drive people to open hobby boxes and to continue to place value in them, even though the overall hit rate is higher in the blaster boxes. And so it's really a nice design by Tops. They did a nice job when they were, uh, you know, when they were figuring out how they're going to balance pull rates between these two products. How are they going to make sure that both products are desirable? That was like a nice way to do it. So hats off to Tops. It's, it's almost as though they've been running Chrome sales for decades. It's almost as though they have experience. And then at the end of this submission, I'm sneaking in a reverse hollow no hickey mothman we're gonna send this bad boy in now i just want to note he does actually have he has like an edge chip look at that he's got a little ding on the edge so i i don't expect this to get, to get a 10 but i think it can get a nine and i'm just gonna i'm gonna try to sneak it into a bulk submission and see if i can sneak it through psa without having to pay an up an upcharge and then i have a uh metazoo sent me the metazoo content creator medal Woo! so i have this uh creator medal Thank you, MetaZoo. I am I am on. It is an honor and a privilege to make uh, to make content for the brand that I do love. So I'm gonna send this in for grading and see if I can pair it. I have a PSA 10 of the original 2021 Content Creator Medal, and so we're gonna try to get a PSA 10 of this 2022. Anyway, so that's that's Tops Chrome. This is my my massive, mass, it's it's a rather large PSA submission uh, that we're working on here. Uh, and then I have some, these ones are just cards that um, that I'm not gonna be submitting to PSA yet. There's either like the centering is off or there's something wrong with them. And then um, I also have cards, I've been filling out this binder as well of just trying to like get, I, I'm, you guys know me, I'm crazy. I love the zoo and I love the, I love the finer things. I love the sauce of it. And so I, I am over time hoping to get what I'm gonna call a rainbow top set. Okay, so a rainbow set of tops of tops chrome is going to be a full set of chrome that is going to be composed of serialized cards and i think i'll splash in x fractors too for fun and so it's, it's going to take me some time i'm sure it's going to take time but over time i hope to have greens golds and blacks and uh you know and oranges and have a full rainbow set of tops chrome and i know it's crazy but that's what I want because I love the zoo and I love me some zoo tops chrome. Anyway, that's that's what I've got. So hopefully you're having good luck with your pulls on MetaZoo tops. And if you want the if you want value pulls, if you want 
a higher percentage of value pulls like oranges and stuff like that um you can hit those hobby boxes but oh man those blaster boxes they seem to be pretty well loaded i mean they're you're gonna hit bad piles of them and good piles of them but overall probably one in every three blaster boxes has a serial card in it which is crazy because they're only 20 bucks a piece so you can just blow 60 bucks and get a serial card and um if it's a green it won't be worth as much but like if it's a gold or higher then you just you just paid for your boxes and then everything else is sauce at least right now the market will shift i'm sure by the time this video comes out the market will be up or down 50 percent, i'm sure but that's all i've got for now thank you meta fan for stopping by as always i do appreciate this opportunity to entertain you find people's meta do have a fantastic week this is argos signing out yeah.